Hey everyone, Amaya here from Great House Lalu, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on lockpicking. There's no skill tree for lockpicking in Elder Scrolls Online, and a lot of people have been requesting this tutorial because lockpicking can be a little weird and hard to understand at first. You can get lockpicks from drawers, crates, and pretty much any lootable container through Tamriel. The easiest way to stock up on lockpicks early out in the game is the tutorial in Cold Harbor. Just make sure to search all of the containers there. Now chests are a different story. Those are a little harder to find. Chests are all over each zone, and some of them are well hidden. They'll usually be off the beaten path, away from the main areas of the game, but they are also really plentiful in dungeons. Be sure to look around the coast as well, especially in the starter areas for each alliance, as there are many chests in the starter areas. Here in Bleak Rock, they're pretty close to the water, and a lot of times they're hidden by trees as well. Now when you find a chest, when you hover over it, it will say it's difficulty level. This one here, since it's on the starter aisle, is a simple chest, pretty easy to unlock. But make sure you have more than one lockpick with you at all times in case it breaks. Now let's go ahead and unlock this chest. When you click on the chest, you'll notice at the bottom it'll say the lock level and your lockpicks remaining. There's also an option to force lock, but that option always isn't available, and it will usually have a percentage next to it of how successful the force lock is going to be. So, to begin lockpicking, you take your mouse and you hover over each of these pins. And there is a timer there at the bottom, and the timer will differ based on the difficulty of the chest. Since this is a simple chest, it gives you a pretty ample amount of time to unlock it. But as they go up in difficulty, the timer will get shorter and shorter. Now, hover over each pin. As you click on it, the pin will begin to shake. As you see, as I push it down, it begins to shake. As soon as it stops shaking, you release. See how the pin shakes? It'll also make a little noise. And as soon as it shakes, you release the pin. And you just have to do this for all of the pins. Now, I really recommend having more than one lockpick with you because they can break. So it's always good to have a backup. And this may take you multiple tries. You may not get it on the first time, but I hope that broke it down for you guys and helped you a little bit. Um, I think that about wraps it up for the lockpicking tutorial. It's really, really simple. You just got to get the hang of it. Um, so please give a like if this helped you out. Subscribe to my channel for more ESO vids, and I will see you in Tamriel.